Hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this time we're looking at Toemetru Vakama and Nokama from 2004. So we'll start off with the booklets, like always. See a picture of the set that there is, and the name below, and kind of neat, neat version, old version of the logo, LEGO logo, everything on the back. Add for the old Bionicle game, and Add for the Mask of Light movie since the since number two hasn't been around at the time as yet, and then some various things that like interlock that making the Matorn sphere interlock the lids together to make the Matorn spheres of which cool really cool how that was, or also Coley walls and things, and the Kanoka disc packs that you can add on to each Toa also cool. And then the Metro Nui Matori. And then a little map of Metro Nui and to all the different parts of it. After all the Toa Metro. Then the last steps for the combination model were one of the old kind of methods, how they did it before it went online. And then how you put it back in the canister. And then interesting things going on with the instructions, of course. And then a little poster of all the Toa together. And this is no commas of which, all the same. So let's move on to the sets. With the main antagonist of Legend of Metro Nui, Vakama. About how cool these sets were. Well, now, look. Since, since in fact they, these are all clone sets, the only thing that varies are the masks and weapons, and the colors, of course. But also a couple of which do have different versions of it. Well, he and uh, Matau, yeah, he and Matau have these methods, but you'll see on Nokama that there's another method. But as for the feet and leg pieces of which the which I see people mock around a lot and things. I see a lot of accents of gray used in all of them. But also has bendable knees, which they have carried on since the Brakshi. But also, what I think is probably first time of using the like double jointed ball connectors, and also first time of adding armor bits to them. At least until they got to the Toa Nika sets, they use the longer versions. And as for the, in the, tor the leg area, which they use all the time, been using all the time since. And uh, let me uh, dismantle him a bit. So I can show you the... And now this they use with the dial roll part in the Glatorian line and everything. And as you see, and there's this torso area of these that still has the gear function in, in which they carry on from the original Toamata sets. But however, instead of in exposing the gears, it has that covering it to keep it in. But also with these metro sets that they've carried on from the Rakshi, is oh, it is a uh, head joint movement and they were the first to introduce the head pieces that they've carried on to the end and like with these extender pieces that ended up making shorter with a plus rod in. and as for this mask of which which kind of close to how it looks on the legend of metro new movie and of course kind of iconic mask this is but also, since the Mask of Light carry on with the plus rod connections, and the heads of which still do have that kind of feature, so still that. And the arms of which also use that, but not on ball joints at this time. And these armor pieces that I've seen only for these sets, although they are oftentimes helpful in mocking 
in the lower arms, of which they use a lot in other sets. But as for Vakama in particular here, his choice of weapon is a disc launcher, kind of similar to how all the Matoran have it, but except it has a couple of flames on the sides. And his Kanoka disc, which holds his face on it. Although, what, what I think would have been cool is if, like, all the Toa Metro sets had a Kanoka disc exclusive to that, but just on the side, you know. But, I don't know, this is what it is, I guess, and that's all in the past. And how you launch it is, which they carried on with the Thorax launchers, is where you can pinch it together and it shoots. Although it's kind of weak for mine, okay. Probably because of some slight flavor or something. But where, and as for the blue pins there, you can put it on there, and yeah. And it's stored on his back, but in a couple of comics of which he uses it to fly around on, which they use with Matau. Uh, and also to note is sometimes these pins can pop off as well. Uh, hang on. And I think that is it with him. And on to no comma, which same features and all, but as for the mask of which, which as they, but also with all the telemetry sets, they had different uh, colors of the eye stock pieces, but then suddenly just trans orange and yellow uh, stuck around through many other sets. And the mask of which, but whereas on when they used for the Voinui Matoran Dalu, it used went to a much brighter blue color. Not sure why that is, but it's still semi translucent. Carrying on from which carried to Gali Mata. And as for the top areas, that on the movie, it's a lot longer and goes into a point area. Not sure why. And as for her we uh, axe weapons, where, which have a wavy feel to them, but on the movie they were in straight. But I guess it's like this, probably to represent her extending out or something. Uh, sorry about the noise. And then as for the blue pin, which what I uh, which did is can like give the like spinning baton kind of effect to them. Also present from the movie of which and where it's with it. Although it does they kind of bend easily just like Oni was and also with or she and Oniwa which use the uh, semi black pins carry on to their and I, uh, Nuju and Wenua had like the normal uh, two long pins, these kind of pins, to connect to the side. I don't know what interesting this is. Probably to make back pins, which is what probably got the inspiration for uh, Toamari Holly. And what else is there? Not much, but yeah. So now on to the final verdict. Uh, hang on. So overall, these I think uh, the Toma Metro sets so which quite cool for the time, like. Still having the gear functions, but a lot more posability added to them. But also still having the dual action ability features from the Toa Nuva. And of course, the articulation feature does carry on with the Anika and other Toas. Um, which they, but also plenty of mockable pieces that have carried on since at this time. 
at least until with the Knight, because that did it even more. But of course, we've got Kama and Okama here, which, the storyline wise, a couple of my favorite characters. And well, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you have some good memories of them, and yeah. And for if you've missed out on them entirely and still have access to these sets, well, good luck getting them. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.